What the hell happened to you? I just went in to clear my head. Swung around a bit. And there was a giant box in the center of the aisle. Please, five dollars. And I thought of you. You're always curled up with a blanket while you're reading on that recliner. There was just one, one fleece left. So there I am, on my tiptoes, just completely bent over at the waist. When out of nowhere, a cart gets me at the ankles. And I fall, full body, into the box. And I'm shouting just for anyone to hear. First I'm saying, help, somebody. Anybody, please help. And I was throwing my whole body into the box. But the box won't move. So then I'm just making noises, just, just guttural sounds. And time passed. No one came. But then this thing hits me on the head and it's cold dripping down my back and over my shoulders and neck into my hair. So then I start shaking, just trying to avoid it getting, you know, getting in my mouth. And I'm, I still have the fleece and I'm gripping it. I'm gripping it with my eyes shut tight. That'll all make it go away. And then, just as all the blood is rushing to my head and I think I'm, I'm bound to pass out, there's a grip at my ankles. So instinctively, I kick it away, forgetting where I am. But then the box is tipped over. <laughs> the box tipped over. And I'm able to just, I was able to just shimmy my way out. And the fluorescent lights were harsh at first. But I can finally see and make out my surroundings. And I still have the fleece. I'm free. And I have the fleece. So I tell all of this to the old woman, reaching for the final air mattress. I don't think she spoke English, but she knew. She knew from the look in my eyes. She knew I needed it more than anybody else at that Black Friday sale. I'm gonna get you a glass of wine. Ooh, a big one.